Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Please like, share, and for the, those of you that might be new, please subscribe. Tonight, there's going to be a rare opportunity to witness a total solar eclipse. As the moon entirely blocks out the sun for less than 76 seconds, as seen from the southern hemisphere. During this rare event, the moon will pass between the earth and the sun in such a way that people in a narrow central eclipse path, including parts of Australia, East Timor, and Indonesia, will experience either an annular or total eclipse, depending on where they are in relation to the moon. This is going to be what they call a hybrid eclipse. It will begin at 10.37 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, and will last about uh, until 1.56 a.m. Eastern Time. Eclipse chasers from all over the world will be traveling to Western Australia, Timor Leste, or is it least L-E-S-T-E, and West Papu, both on land and on cruise ships to observe a unique hybrid or annular total solar eclipse. So you might be wondering what a hybrid eclipse is. It's a type of solar eclipse that looks like an annular solar eclipse or a total solar eclipse, depending on the observer's location along the central eclipse path. During a hybrid solar eclipse, the Earth curvature brings some sections of the eclipse path into the moon's umbra, the darkest part of its shadow that creates total solar eclipse, while other areas remain outside of the umbra's reach, causing an annular eclipse. Hybrid solar eclipses involve all three areas of the moon's shadow and combine all three types of solar eclipses. The three areas are umbra, penumbra, and antumbra. The type of eclipse we see depends on the part of the moon's shadow we are in. The path of the moon's shadow this time is 8,000 miles long, which is only 25 miles wide, and it occurs mostly at sea. Thus, then, all the people that are going to be out there on the yachts. It will begin as an eclipse at sunrise near Kerguelen Islands in the Indian Ocean grazing the coast of Western Australia and then moving across Timor Leste and West Papua and becoming a ring of fire for a few seconds before setting close to the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean as a beaded sunset. Hybrid eclipses are weird and rare, occurring only seven times in the 21st century. But what people will see um, later today will be a normal total solar eclipse. That is due to primarily to the fact that the curvature of the Earth brings that part of the path closer to the sun. They are saying that totality will be witnessed by relatively few people. In fact, just 50,000 people are expected to make the trip to Exmouth Peninsula in Western Australia to witness totality where the permanent population is only around 5,000 people. But if we, you and me, are not part of the 1% of the wealthy to be able to travel to Australia to witness this total solar eclipse, you can wait until April 8th of next year where over 31 million North Americans will experience the eclipse in total reality. If you're lucky enough to be in Southeast Asia and the other parts of Australia, you'll get to see at least 50% of tonight's or today's um, eclipse of the sun. And I suppose that would depend on weather. If you do live in those areas of Southeast Asia and parts of Australia, make sure you have um, solar glasses on. You don't want to burn the retinas of your eyes. 
The next hybrid eclipse is expected in 2031. The next alignment for a hybrid eclipse will not occur for another 100 years in 2164, according to NASA. So if you're looking for signs in heaven and on earth, this could be one. Seeing how we're not going to have another one until 2031. Now that's a hybrid eclipse. So thank you for watching. Please share my videos. That will help with the ranking here on YouTube. And if you're new, please subscribe. And I wish all of you a very happy day and a good evening. And I want to thank all of you that have subscribed to our community and have supported my work. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.